and look hideous but i really wanted to show you guys my everyday makeup routine and i didn't feel like moving my makeup into my filming room so we are going to see if this is working and if you really hate this kind of setup and that window let me know maybe i can cover it up somehow for next time i really really want to do this video and i do have some time this morning because i actually got out of bed in time so let me just try to do my makeup as i would normally and i will try to talk you through it it's very simple because it's mostly just my pretty pan items because i'm basically panning a whole face of makeup right now did i say hi hi <laughs> I don't think I did. So let me try to move you up a bit and then scoop, <laughs> zoom you in on my eyes because we're starting with those and you can't see from there. So let me do that. Can you see there? Okay, I can't do it better than this. So this is going to do. What's going on in your life? I'm just going to my internship. And yes, I do have a lot of breakouts because uh, some product in my routine, in my makeup or skincare routine, mostly in my makeup routine, I think, is breaking me out. And I don't know what it is. So yeah, I'm using my Essence Eye Primer that I have in my panning games because I really want to use it up. And now it's after Easter, so I am going to work four days a week instead of three days. Which is good for my panning and in general very exciting to see if I can do that. If you're new, I got surgery in November in my spine. Because I have a condition called scoliosis. And that condition makes your spine like an S, the letter S. You know, so it looks like that. And um, so I got in some bars and screws to straighten it out, basically. So now I am, am stiff in my back. So I got this internship so I can try to see if I can work again. So because it's weekday, I'm not going to use my two weeks one palette. So my Morphe 35OM, which is my Panda palette and my Man Matte. So I'm using a fluffy brush and going into a light beige yellow thing color right there i'm hired for a brand called itchy it's scandinavian and kind of big in denmark and i am working with the e-commerce department it's like an assistant job you know internship so i am a lot with the web shop and the collections some graphic design and i was Helping with a photo shoot last week. It was really exciting. It's definitely something I want to do and Itchy is a uh, clothing brand So that's really exciting because I really love fashion. Yeah, let's take the same brush and go into a deeper orangey brown color that one right there. So yeah four days a week now and a four hour work day I believe from 10 to 14 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And I'm looking forward to me getting better so I can have a full-time job. And that is the goal. I just realized last time I did an everyday mega routine, I also talked about my new internship job. <laughs> Funny. Funny how things is working out. But I have been here in my internship for like a little bit over a month now. I'm into things and so I have two months left. Which is kind of sad, so I hope they really like me so I can stay. I'm going in with my NYX uh, Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk as a base for my shimmer shadows. Oh, I forgot my outer corner shade. Oh, whatever. Last week, I think. Yeah, last week. No, two weeks ago. I made a huge order on itchy's website with some clothing so now i can go to work only in itchy because i'm working there i get a huge discount code which is so exciting because then i can buy a lot of clothes for nothing <laughs> i will link the website but if you are not living in uh, sweden norway denmark holland netherlands 
and or Germany. You can't buy from the web shop, but you can see it in international prices. But we are working on shipping national international. It's coming, but not yet. So let me use my two Kiko eyeshadows right here, number 135, that is a darker one, and then 139, what did I say, 33, 30, 39. So the darker one in my outer corner, I do have it in a product and I wanted to, I want to use it 20 times. So this is the first time. Oh, that is not really shimmery, I thought it were. Oh, oh. doesn't really matter. And yeah, I do the same kind of eye looks all the time. I'm not very... I don't experiment with halo eyes and cut creases a lot. But you can say this is like a cut crease, but a soft cut crease. This technique and shape for my eyes really works. I'm just sticking with it. I love watching other people doing cut creases and stuff like that, but... I don't really do them myself. I'm going to put this underneath. It is a pigment from L'Oreal. It is the color infallible, infallible shadow. And this is the orange one I have in my panning games. I'm going to take a flat brush right here. Looking like a concealer brush, but I'm just going to pat that on my eyelid where the pencil was. So I'm going to blend it into the outer corner. So the only thing I'm changing up so far in this look is my outer corner, but I darken it up anyway, so it doesn't really matter what shade I use. And if you want to do this, it doesn't matter what shade you are using. Use whatever brown you have and whatever orange you have and whatever champagne -y rose gold shade you have. It is so simple and I love this color combination at the moment and it just works because I'm panning all of it. <laughs> because this pigment isn't shiny enough for me, I'm going to put on the rose gold shimmer shade. I'm going to pat it on top of the orange because that makes a beautiful light orangey shimmer, which I love. Very, very simple, very quick. I love it. I'm taking a fluffy brush and just blending out shimmer shade if I need to. I don't really like this crease with this outer corner shade so I'm actually going in with another shade. Maybe the one underneath the one I used in my crease. Just a little bit. It's very brown. Oh god. Well, it helped. So, that's fine. I'm just tapping into the shadow. I'm not doing anything wild but I just needed something to tie the look together basically. Yeah, let's prep our base and I'm going to take the Pore Fiction from Dose 7. It is just a pore filling and maybe it is this one that is breaking me up but I'm trying to test another primer that is so it's not that. It seems so stupid that I just said that I'd still use it if I thought this was breaking me out. I am bringing out here and here so maybe it is this one. Oh I'm so confused. I hate testing out stuff if it's breaking me out because I'm panning some of it so I don't want to not have progress but I don't want to break out either so it's really a struggle I know my skin comes first though but it's just weird I'm still breaking out even though I'm not using the primer that I think maybe it is this one. Oh no I just put it on my face okay let's take this primer right here not the one that I think I'm breaking out of but it is the Max Factor Face Unity All Day Primer. Okay, let me take my highlighting stick. It is the W7 Strobe and Go Strobing Stick. And yes, I use it after my primer, before my foundation. So my nose, Cupid's bow, wherever you want to highlight basically. It's so beautiful. And this is very heavy handed. I'm going to blend it out with a brush that I can find. Right here, stippling brush. And then I'm going to take a cream blush that I'm panning. It is this red one, so I'm going to look like a clown, which is okay. You can't see it through my foundation basically because I'm going to cover it up. Obviously when you see it. Hello. <laughs> clown much? Yeah. 
take another stippling brush to blend it out. I take it up in my... What are these called? I know the Danish word. Like this. So yeah, now I do look like a clown or something. I glow a clown. I really don't care. Then we're going to spot conceal because all of these breakouts, scarring... Okay, now my brush just broke. Cool! <laughs> Yeah, I can use it anyway, I just put it on. I will tell my boyfriend to glue it, because I don't know where the glue is. Taking my concealer palette from W7, because I'm panning it. And then I just apply the concealer to where I need it the most. And this concealer palette is so nice because it's so creamy. I have these pet concealers from W7 as well. They are so stiff and dry. But this concealer palette is so, so nice because it's creamy and it's so blendable. So it's really nice to work with. And I have been loving it. I have used it the past 10 months, maybe. I'm panning two concealers from this and it is the two lightest. And then I'm panning the corrector. And I'm going in with that now under my eyes. And I mushed them up because it was around the edges. It was so hard to use. And you don't need a lot of concealer at a time. So if you're really heavy handed, this concealer palette is not for you because then you will go through it so fast. But I love this for spot concealing and just take the worst redness around my skin. Uh, with this one, ironic when you have bright red, red uh, cheeks. I think it's foundation time. The foundation that I'm panning, the Face Fantasy by W7, of course. I'm trying to get rid of some of my W7 products because I have so many. I don't need this much. And it's really hard not to put a W7 product into a project. A project that is coming up uh, here uh, next week, I actually just realized I don't have a W7 product in it. Because it's all about older products and my W7 products are quite new. So I'm trying to put a light layer on today because I really don't want to wear anything but yeah I, I usually use two to three pumps around my face and neck and this foundation is so nice because I can use it with a brush so I don't always have to use my sponge which is so nice because I don't always want to go down and wash it and um, you know clean it make it wet because I'm lazy and then my neck not because I need it, because this shade is a perfect match, but just to be sure. So, hello. <laughs> My camera just cut me off. Um, for concealer, I am using this at the moment, because that is the one that is acting up the best with my face. It is the Gush Concealer. It looks a lot like the Revolution. Same size basically, one and a half milliliter more than the Revolution one, so 5.5 milliliters. And it's more yellow in the undertone than the one I have from Revolution. I have the C1. Um, because I'm pale and uh, they actually match me right now. The gosh one is very yellow and I'm very natural in my undertone, so I can wear it. So it doesn't look bad. And I found a new method for my concealer, which I'm really excited about. I am using the contour brush from Real Techniques, and it works so nicely. A lot of people use the setting brush for their concealer, but I use that for highlighting. So this was the, the closest thing I had, and it's working so nice. Blends your concealer out so nicely, and it is so good with the excess product, because you can just buff it out on your face. You can see some red through my foundation, but it's really not a lot. So I'm buffing the extra in my forehead. I love this concealer. It's so brightening and it's so, so nice. And it's cruelty free. Because when makeup products and beauty products are made in Denmark, they have to be cruelty free because it is illegal to test on those in Denmark. So that's really nice if you want to go cruelty free. I have thought about it, to be honest. So if I buy new products, they are going to be cruelty free. So that's not why I pan a lot of uh, W7 products, because they are cruelty free. And some of the products actually are vegan. So that's nice. If you're into that. 
I know some of you are. Did I tell you? I'm using the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. That is my holy grail for my under eyes. My camera is not a... Uh, it is acting up right now my camera, so I just turned it on again. So I did my brows, I powdered my face, I did my lower lash line and my eyeliner. My eyeliner up my top lash line is the black gush eyeliner that I'm having. Lower lash line is the trended up metallic bronze eyeliner, which I set, did set with this gold shadow that I'm having. And I used this on my brow bone, the white shadow and this cream shadow in my inner corner right here. So to brighten up my inner corner or give it a little bit of shine, I'm using this W7 Hologram 3D eyeshadow stick. So that is this pink, beautiful pink color. And I'm going to place that here. You see that? That is all I am using. Just to give it a little bit of pop. So let me see if I can zoom you guys in a bit. Maybe you can see the gold on my lower lash line. And yeah, my eyebrows are never perfect. But that is just... So, I just curled my lashes, but I actually want to do the rest of my face. So, yesterday I did some frame cam because I... Let me just show you here a little spoiler. I did frame uh, this bronzer because there was nothing left, basically. And I did frame the highlighter. I mixed it in with something else. The bronzer I mixed in with some other bronzers that I wanted to pan. A small Manicada shimmery bronzer eyeshadow it was really kind of dark so i mixed it in with the one i had in the Gwen Stefani palette and a little bit of and that organized that i haven't put away yet and a chunk of the nyx bronzer from the that duo thing um and that made this bronzer it looks dark so hopefully it's not but it is a shimmery bronzer now and it's actually quite pretty. I never use a shimmery bronzer, but I, I really wanted to try. So I just mixed a little bit in of everything. Not a lot, so hopefully it works. Yeah, and the highlighter is looking like this now. So I used the rest of that one. And because it was quite dark, I mixed in some of this lighter highlighter. Um, a chunk here. So I was really uh, curious how this was going to repress because this is a baked product and the other one wasn't. But I think it is going to be really really nice and really pretty. So I'm really excited and for my blush I'm using Fred Boy and then a little bit of contour on my NYX blush in taupe. So I'm just going to do that and then you can just lean back and watch. Maybe me going to be get muddy. Hopefully not. Because I don't have time to redo this. But I usually use a stippling brush at the moment. And I really like it because my bronzer brush is broken. It needs to be fixed. And I don't know where the glue is. Like I said before. This is beautiful. It is blending so nicely. I like this. It's not as shimmery as I thought it would be. Which is a good thing when you're not used to it. going to put something in my... My forehead, warm up my face, my jawline, my neck here. Then I'm taking the blush, so I'm just stippling that on like that. Oh, let's let's hope this works. Yeah, this is working. That's a beautiful shine. I'm happy with that. So down my nose, cupid's bow. That's really all I highlight. Success! I'm really excited. Then I can use up some more highlight. Which I'm not mad about. Yeah, then just blend it a little bit. So it's not as harsh. Um, mm -mm. I'm gonna use this kind of brush with the contour. I usually use this one, but I use that from concealer. Just stippling in. And then a little bit, just a little bit, blend it out, put on some lip balm. 
Oh yeah, and for my brows, I used the Goof Proof Brow Pencil and a brow gel. Nothing fancy. I'm trying to be good and clean up because I really don't like mess. Oh my god, my inner corner are so tight right now. They're itching. Freaking much. It's itching so bad. Okay. Um yeah, let's do mascara and hopefully my battery won't die on me. How much? Twenty-three percent. So I usually put the waterproof mascara on my top lashes because otherwise this will transfer down to my concealer, which was not nice. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, the waterproof one. I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest, because it does transfer to my concealer if I put it on my lower lash line. But I think that is only because I have so long lower lashes. Yeah, so it works for my upper lashes only. When you need a waterproof mascara, it's usually on the lower lashes. But I can't use it over down there. I am using the Noble Nordic uh, Hey Friends mascara. It is a Danish YouTuber that started her own brand a few years ago. And then she came out with a mascara and I love it. It is so nice. So it has a nice brush. It's flat so it, there aren't uh, bristles on the sides but only at the top and the bottom. So it coats your lash lashes with mascara and then the, you use the brush thing is the bristles to comb them out which makes them big and fluffy and will gives them a lot of volume but I will say if you don't like clumpy lashes this is not for you I personally really like that so this is a nice mascara for me and this is Quilt free of course because it's Danish. It's not pricey. It is cheaper than the Maybelline mascara I just used. And this mascara is somewhat waterproof. And somewhat is because it's not waterproof in its description. But it's not smudgy at all. And it's so so buildable. So for every day if you don't want to wear lashes, this is perfect. It takes some practice to use this basically. I'm not, I, I don't have a cold, but my nose is so snotty anyway when I do my makeup. So annoying and I don't have allergy anymore. I did once, but that was my eyes, so maybe my nose is affected. I don't hope so because I don't want to have allergy. Almost done. Um, my lip liner and... The product is in my bag. Let me just get that before my battery runs out. So for every day I wear the eBay lip liner. Sometimes I forget though. But it's just a nude color. And then I alternate between using this one in the morning and and the Elf Fair Fuchsia that I have in my area. whole collection project paint. But today I'm going to use this. So let me use the lip liner. That's the lip liner and then we have the soft matte lip cream in can. It looks so messy because I took the stub out. I love this color so much. So before my battery runs out, <laughs> let me put on some uh, clothes and do my hair and then I will be right back to finish off this video. I am back. I have done my hair and put some earrings on and I have my new dress on. Well, I just realized I forgot some setting spray so I'm just going to spray that on and then I am done. And the good thing about this mascara, it does not transfer when I do use setting spray, which is a big thing 
because it always do that. Prayer. Cheers in lemonade. I love my skin, how it looks in this makeup. I still can see the breakouts. Um, through this foundation, as you can see, it's not perfect by any means. And you can see it's very dry under my eyes and the concealer is not full coverage, but I really do like it. Um, this lip color is amazing. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below and comment what you think about this setup. I somewhat like it. It's not perfect by any means, but sometime in the future I will get my own filming room, beauty room, whatever with a desk and stuff like that so I can do this so much easier so you don't need to balance on lashes and stuff like that. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, please take care. Bye. I will go to work now. Bye bye.